Hey, so I've been playing around with this uh, Slack uh, mode for Super Whisper. Um, it's kind of just my standard setup here, Pro English model with GPT 3.5 for cleanup. Um, if we pop into the mode here, um, we've got the prompt, which is basically the standard uh, messages prompt with replacing any occurrence of, of the user saying someone's, uh, mention someone's name um, with at someone's name, uh, using the Slack usernames as reference. Um, yeah, and uh, actually I'll move that to the end here. So I'll end with use the following Slack usernames as reference. Uh, and let's just say at Mickey Mouse, at Donald Duck, at um, Clifford, um, at Bill Brown at um, Margaret. Uh, sure, let's just do that. Um, and we can try those. Uh, so I haven't actually tested this yet, um, but we can actually delete that example, keep this one. I think I'm just going to try it with a one shot on this. It's basically just the mention uh, functionality. So this is this is the approach that you can use for if you want to use the language model to do it. You can get this list of users actually by going into any Slack channel uh, and typing slash who. Um, so you know if you go into your general channel where everyone is in, uh, type slash who, uh, highlight, copy, paste in here, um, and it should be able to like get people's names pretty accurately. Um, as long as you're using the correct, uh, you know, the correct um, initiation with, uh, you know, mention uh, as a keyword. If you want something a little bit, so if you're like always mentioning one person or you want to set up something for at here, you could do, um, you know, at here or like, you know, namespace it with Slack at here and then you can just get at here, right? And we can do uh, Slack at everyone. Uh, and you can get at everyone, um, slack, uh, hash, general, uh, and you can just get general, right? Um, so obviously you can come up with your own scheme, uh, for, for doing that. Um, but, uh, yeah, so let's just test that out now. I'm actually just going to open up notes for pasting into, um, and just gonna pop it open here, and we can just uh, so we can activate Super Whisper um, and change the mode. So just switch over to Slack, and mention Mickey Mouse. Have you heard from mention Donald Duck yet on the project results? Mention Margaret has been asking about it. Curious if anyone Slack at here has details. Um, so you'll notice that that result should, uh, have you heard from at Donald Duck yet on the project result that Mark has been asking about curious if anyone at here has details. Okay, cool. So everything worked there. Um, that's pretty awesome, right? Like that's, you know, uh, a very small amount of instruction here. Um, and that's exactly what I said. Um, so if you'll notice, I don't actually have at here mentioned in the prompt or anywhere in the um, AI. Um, that is just a straight up text replacement. So those are, those are these like macros or text replacements I've set up here. Um, the rest of these mentions are actually happening uh, in the language model post-processing. So, um, uh, yeah, as long as you have, um, the, uh, usernames in there, it's basically going to look at what it's pulling from the voice. So mention Mickey Mouse, mentioned Donald Duck, and even it, you know, the voice model heard mentioned, uh, here or corrected to mentioned. Um, and it still was able to, uh, to correct that to, at Donald Duck. Um, so awesome. You know, this is, this is like exactly what I would want to see from, um, this mode. Obviously you can extend that. You can supply more, um, 
results here. So you could, you know, let's try mentioning somebody who's not listed in the users. Um, at uh, uh, Nico Smith, wondering if you have anything else to add to the presentation today. We're a little light on content. Um, so perfect. Uh, so, you know, if that was good output, so what I can do is just accept that basically, put it in as an example, um, and then go back and get the, the voice output. Um, oh, even the voice model got that correct. Uh, at Nico Smith, um, right? Uh, so awesome. Like if you have a naming convention in your company Slack, so, um, you know, maybe it's like first name, uh, first name, last name, initial, or, um, last name, first name, or something of that nature. Um, you can definitely, you know, build that into here as well. Um, but this is kind of my process for, for building up new modes, um, is just taking the, um, uh, uh, taking the history, um, from recordings as I'm building it and, um, you know, modifying the input output until, um, you know, it's 99% of the time giving me exactly what I want. Um, so yeah, just wanted to share that with you, show you some of the tools. I feel like this is a good, um, mode to kind of show off what, uh, Super Whisper is capable of. I, I'm going to be adding this to the uh, predefined modes here. Um, but yeah, until then, you can use this guide to, to build it from scratch. Cheers.